Welcome back! In the previous part, we started doing some tutorials, you know, the normal thing we start doing at the start of a Disgaea game. So, let's potentially carry on doing more tutorials, because, you know. Please select the place you wish to travel to, Lord Valbatoris. Rebels of Hades. Lift and throw. My speciality. I say that, you know. The third part of the lesson is all about lift and throw. Sweet dude. In a real battle, enemies won't always be within your reach. I'll show you sardine power. Oh my. What if this is chewy? Nope, can't reach him. Gonna have to destroy an iron block and then jump up. Just like that. If you're too far from an opponent, your attack isn't going to reach. You know what to do in this situation. Yes. Move as close as you can to the enemy and then hit enter, dude. You fool. You'll only end up receiving an attack from the enemy on their turn. Tutorial, lift and throw. Use lift and throw in order to reach an enemy that is far away or on higher ground. I'll show you sardine power. You do that. Perish! Select the lift command and try to lift me up, Fenric. Here I come! Excellent. Now throw me towards an enemy. The circle number is your throwing range. Here it says the limit is five panels, but this all depends on the character. Cannot throw up to that height. Hmm, looks like it's too far to reach, even with a throw. What do we do now, dude? Should we give up and end turn? It's too soon to give up. Hmm, you might be able to use that box to compensate for the height. Forgive me. Okay, let's use it. Now let's see if this will work. Time to bust some balls. Ah, excellent. It's perfect. We got so much closer to the enemy, dude. As a reward for your enthusiasm, allow me to teach you another important technique that will come in handy. Tutorial towers. Lift a character who is already lifting another character. Or just stand on top of them. I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. He's done it. Here I come. She's gonna go straight on top. Why? 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 Just climb up the tower. Here I come. Lifting up multiple characters is called making towers in the Neverworld. Learn special skills that evolve towers at the ability shop and start using powerful tower moves. Oh, I will. And that's it. Lift, throw, stack, and tower. Engrave those words into your memory. If you lift multiple units and throw each of them in order, you can move farther. That's correct. There are many other useful tactics, but you will have to figure them out for yourself. I'm counting on you. There are a few things to look out for when using these tactics. You receive damage if you end your turn while lifting an enemy. Another thing. Lift and throw commands can only be used by human-type units and not by monster-type units. Lastly, you pretties have a tendency of blowing up when you're thrown. That's all. We'll begin practice with a good opportunity to try out different moves. Aye aye, dude. Is he telling us to try blowing ourselves up too, dude? Yes, dude. Dun -gun -dun -gun -dun -gun -dun -gun -dun. Okay, so Valvador, eh? Let's lift you. I should have healed up at some point, shouldn't I? There we go, dude. Right, so, Fenric. Lift that. Okay. I suppose it is. Eyebrow fetish. Just, alright. Can I not run on top of them? Oh, I can. So maybe I could have done that before. Don't think so. No. Oh. There. And Lillian, you go there. Right now, you lift up 
eyebrow fetish. And throw up there. And attack. And we'll end turn now. Not the best attackers I've got up there, is it? Right, so... Yeah, so this has not worked out very nicely for me. Okay, you attack there. Actually move down. Get you up. And we'll attack. And turn. There we go, dude. Stage clear. And 7 XP. Lovely. Oh, well, I guess we'll go into that one next, but we'll go heal up first. Don't need to save between the tutorials at the moment. Right, so there's my healer. Oh, no, don't tell me how to heal. I just, I know, I use money to heal. There you go, the end. Just, yeah, get treated. Boom, done. We're out here. That's all I had to do. All right, please select your destination. GeoFX, here we go. Whether or not we're going to have blocks, I don't know. We do! The blocks are back. Are you ready for the last part of the lesson? Got it, dude. We're ready. Do you know what these blocks and panels are on the map? Yes, dude. They're geo blocks and geo panels, dude. Geo panels are pieces of land that possess spiritual elements. The building blocks of the Neverworld, dude. Geo blocks are the crystallized version of those spiritual elements. That's what our textbook said, dude. That is correct. I'll be using these geo blocks and panels for the last part of your lesson. Tutorial Geo Effects. One of the most effective fighting tactics is to use Geo Effects. So we throw that onto the blue one, destroy the green one, that turns it green, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Geo Effects is a general term used to represent the effect caused by Geo Panels and Blocks. Now look at the colored panels and the Geo Panels on the map. You see on top of the screen where it says Blue Panel, Enemy Boost plus 50%. This means that when an enemy is on top of a blue panel, the enemy's attack. The defense stats increase by 50%. It's important to note that this boost is only effective on enemies. Absolutely. This is a big disadvantage to us. In this case, what should we do, Prinice? I'd destroy all the blocks, dude. I'd move the enemy off the panel by throwing them, dude. I'd lure the enemy off the panel before I fight them, dude. I've done that before. As expected of you, Prinice, who I have raised with great care. You're all too smart to be Prinice. However, there is another better way. You can destroy all the geo panels at once if you use this tactic. Indeed, destroy the blocks. Let me teach you the way. Pay attention to this geo block. It says geo block change green, dude. Change green means that when this geo block is destroyed, the geo panels it is on will change to the color green. For example, if you destroy the change green block on top of a blue panel, all the other blue panels will change to green panels. Don't forget that while the panels are changing colors, while allies, enemies, and blocks on the panels will receive damage. Okay, dude. So we can destroy trio panels by changing their colors? However, these colored changing blocks aren't enough to destroy the panels. You will also need a null block. Right, so it's basically, you throw the green one, it turns all the blue ones green. It destroys the red one, makes all the green ones blue. Then all the red ones then turn blue. No? I, I know what I'm saying. It's, we go to clear. Trust me. Did I read that? I don't know. It's currently sitting atop a red panel. All the other red panels will be destroyed if you're able to destroy that null block. By using this tactic. I got it, dude. All I gotta do is destroy the null block after changing all panels to the same color. That is correct. You figured it out. Conveniently enough, all of the blocks and panels on this map have been placed so that a perfect clear can easily be demonstrated. I said that word. Yeah, let's throw the green one. To practice, use your creativity and knowledge to solve this map. Okay, dude, it's better for beginners to just change the colors one at a time until all of the panels are the same color, right, dude? No. You also fill more of the bonus gauge by changing colors and nulling the panels. With more bonus, you'll obtain greater bonus items after clearing the map. Now get to it and do it as if your lives depended on it. I wish I could get more sardines rather than bonuses. Anyway, this is your final lesson. I wish you all good luck. Aye, aye, dude. You want sardines too, dude. Yeah, it's... Let's throw the green one. Boom, 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 boom. Destroys the red one. Makes all the green ones 
red, then all the red ones turn blue, and then all the blue ones get clear. That's it. I'll like, show like that. you. There you go. So, lift. Sardines! Sardines! Alright, can I throw diagonally? Yeah. I tried. It didn't seem to work. Perish. Henrik? I actually hit you from there. That's the thing. It's like, because I did that, it's like, ah, that might have been a mistake. Alright, so let's go with Fenric. There. My turn. Here I come. It's a special fire. Execute. There we go, still fine. Can I make it go faster? Yes, it's all one this time. You change to blue. Then you change to clear. Lovely. Quite splendid, you might say. That's a lot of bonus. Alright, so Lillian, we'll head you out. And Renard. Just enter, not too fussed about the other characters. Okay, so. I could there. And we'll go there. And we'll go there. I was hoping maybe I could get on top of him, but no. Here I come. Um, yeah, you, because you can have another turn after this. Get you, and then we'll fire, and then we'll then turn. That might be enough, though. Nope, that should be enough. Though. There we go. Level up, though. Dunk and dunk. Ooh, almost got that 200 hell at the end. Uh, no! Here's a message to all of you prennies. You finally completed all of my lessons. Finally. No matter what kind of masters you might serve, never forget your pride at being prennies from Hades! And lastly, keep in mind that any fool who messes up and gets sent back to Hades will be met with a brutal rehabilitation program. You screwed, dude. Now that's the kind of response I like to hear. Allow me to fulfill the promise that I made to you. You shall each receive one sardine. They were raised naturally, freshly caught this morning. Oh, quite lovely. Yeah, dude. Where did you get that skull from? <laughs> Making such a ruckus over a single sardine. These prinnies have been well deprived by our lord. Hmm. Now, prinnies, enjoy your sardine and go work hard under your future mess. What's been. What. What happened to interrupt him? Well, this is not good at all, dude. This is not according to plan, dude. I haven't even got to take a single bite out of my sardine yet, dude! What, what in Hades is going on here? There's only one idiot who could do such a thing without your permission, my lord. This must be his doing. This is unacceptable. How am I going to keep the promise I made to the Prinnies? Let's go, Fenric! We need to get those Prinnies back! Understood. All is for my lord. Do you? That man is nothing but a nuisance to my lord. Please don't tell me it's Axel. I must make my move now. It's going to be Axel, isn't it? Right, something I feel I should do... Is if I'm messing around like the volume levels and stuff... And I'm going to, like, basically in post on the edits, etc. I'm going to increase the volume of the game... In the editing. Which means, like, the sound effects will increase as well. So it's like, don't want them to be too much. 
so they could be quite loud otherwise. So, let's heal up. And let's go see if it's Axel or anything like that. It feels like it's gonna be Axel. It just, I, I have that sense. The fact he was in the intro. Please like the place you wish to travel to, Lord Valvatores. Alright, reincarnation site. Let's go, dude. <laughs> so you're finally here, Prenny Instructor. Ah, oh, it is Axel, it's Axel. Oh no. Warden Axel! Oh. You What do you think you're doing with those prinnies? What do you expect me to do about the sardine situation? Watch your mouth! What do you think helped your worthless vampire teeth after you lost all your power? Before you start acting all pretty instructory, you should think carefully about your place here. That's why I'm asking Give me back those damn prinnies! It's, it's... the voice acting is still so very quiet. That's not asking, that's ordering! And you're not being polite at all! I'm the Warden of Hades! I control everything around here. How the hell did this happen with Axel? If you keep that attitude up, don't think I won't lock you up, too. I only want to keep the promise I made to the prince. I have no intention of defying your power. Just shut up and give them back. Why don't you get it? I'm not giving the prince back to you. I think I still need to decrease the music and everything like that and sort the volumes out in post. It's, it's just quite strange. What? what did you say? Are you telling me to break the promise that I made to the Prinnies? You, you don't scare me. I've been through much worse and survived to get where I am now. I'm Warden Axel. Axel, you cretin. Why can't you just calm down for a minute? Because it's Axel. My lord simply wishes to keep the promise he made to the Prinnies. Don't you understand that? If you dare to refuse us, then we'll have to resort to violence to force you to understand. Agree! He who doesn't understand words must be given physical discipline. Prepare yourself, Warden Axel. You will learn that I have no intention of disobeying you. What? Huh? What? Huh? Okay. That makes perfect sense. Right, so let's mess around with the settings a bit more. Right, so we'll turn the volume down there, and we'll make sure that's there. Just so maybe I can get, like, everything correct. All set! Sardines! Sardines! All set! All set! Sure you are, Ify. That, that one is like, I've got, got it in the background. Yeah, gonna have to do a lot of messing around with post to make sure this all ends up right and correct. Right, so... Let's actually do things properly for once. Ready, dude? Ready, dude. Let's get these prinnies Ready, out. Dude? These eyesores. Let's see what I did there. <laughs> Alright, so put you out there. Time to bust some balls. I suppose it is. I'm gonna do it! He's gonna do it. I believe he's gonna do it, but he's gonna do it. Forgive me. No, I won't. Alright, so Fenric. Here I come! Shoot down. Okay, attack there, attack there, fire there, and then we'll attack, like so. Uh, can I do anything from here? No. Can you attack from range? Because it's like, you, yeah, 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 you can attack from range, that's fine. So, make you last. Boom. And turn! This might destroy him. Can't believe Axel's back. God damn it, Axel. I do like Axel though, because I like to dislike Axel. It's strange, I know. I should have just executed there, I could have done much more. Well, that did not go well, did it, dude? That did not go well, dude! Alright, so let's put you there, dude. Okay, dude, 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 dude. Um, let's actually... Yes, that actually, that would work nicely. Go there. And 
right there. Go behind as well. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna switch it up and go to this one instead. And then I'm gonna do a special in a prince. There. And enter. I really, really should execute instead, because it's like I may get a, a second chance at these things if I did this correctly. It would be smarter, wouldn't it? Especially considering we're facing Axel here, we know what he can do. Not much, apparently. Dude. Oh, you're good, that's good then. Okay, so, let's see here, dude, how much health have you got? So let's just go normal attacks all around, really. So let's start with a fire. Put you there. Put you there. And then we'll go with a normal attack on Axel. A normal attack. And then we'll go with a normal attack on Lenton. Should be enough to take out Axel. There. Time to bust some balls. Ready, dude. These the tutorials are actually quite simple and short in this game compared to how they were in Disgaea 3. Although we'll probably have some more later on. I can see that happening. Okay, Axel's dead, dude. Stage clear. Lovely. Uh, no. So, now you understand? I have no intention of disobeying you whatsoever. Like at this point, I can't sort any of the volumes anymore. It's like I've got the music on the lowest it could possibly be and the voice on the highest it could possibly be. There's nothing more I can do. So if it's not fixed at this point, ah well. Didn't you just beat the crap out of me? I may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but don't most folks consider that disobedience? My only wish is to stay true to my word. Now, give me back the prinnies. Sorry, but that's a no-can-do. Because that's the Corruptorment's will! Corruptorment's? What do you want about, Axel? What? The Corruptorment? What could they possibly be up to? Oh, that? Mass extermination of the Prinnies! Why? You get it, right? The rapid increase in the Prinny population is starting to be a major problem all over the netherworld. Food shortages, unemployment, noise complaints, increased accident rates, overpopulation, <laughs> decreased test scores. These are all the Prinnies' fault. The Corruptorman has organized a special task force to get rid of them. The Abaddon, a band of assassins brought together and under the command of none other than the Netherworld President himself. <laughs> I've heard of them before. They're Netherworld cleaners, getting rid of the Corruptorman's rubbish. <laughs> That's right, and you'll be jobless and broke once all the prinnies are gone. Well, we can't stand by and let this happen. But what about the sardines? What should I do with all the sardines I promised to give them? Eat them. I don't see what the problem is. What's the point of feeding creatures that are about to be extinct? Feeding them isn't the point, you narrow-minded fool. The promise has already been made. Until I keep my promise, no one gets the prinnies. I don't care if you're the corrupter men or, or even the president. Please calm down, my lord. It's dangerous to carry on in your usual moronic fashion while confronting the corrupter men. What is this? Is my faithful servant scared of a mere corruptment? I think he is. Not even. But I do have a mission of my own. What's corruptment? And in order to complete it, I can't afford to lose you in a fight over such an insignificant matter, my lord. So you're telling me to obey them? And to break the promise I made? All is for my lord. Poppycock! How many times do I have to tell you that for a demon, breaking a promise isn't- I am fully aware of your noble yet ultimately futile philosophy. However, please, think back about all of the things that you've lost just to keep the promises that you've made in the past. 
If only you let go of that futile philosophy of yours, you would be back on your throne as the invincible tyrant in no time. Yes, but then he wouldn't be the person he is. He'd be some... It, it, it would be him. Come on now, Fenric. Let's not talk about that. Now come, Fenric, before the prinnies are disposed of. Very well. It's black screen. Good news, Lord Valvatoris. The Campaign HQ has been established just for you. Campaign HQ? I'm not trying to run for president. Isn't that a bit much? <laughs> is that so? It's always better to be safe than sorry. All is for my lord. Good morning, Lord Valvatoris. I have established the Campaign HQ, as requested by Sir Fenric. I will show you around the HQ whenever you're ready. Shall we? No? Oh, hello. This is the campaign HQ, my lord. This is the place where powerful demons plan and strategize their journey to the top. It's a very important place. I'll explain all the functions here, so please take a look at this map. What is this? This is the map of the entire Neverworld. One day you will rule over all of this. Rule? I am just a pretty instructor. I don't want to rule anything. <laughs> you are very modest. My lord, you will surely rule the Neverworld someday. In other words, this is a future representation of the Neverworld. All this land will be yours, my lord. As long as we keep winning battles, these areas will truly become your lands. Is that decision even ours to make? I fear you as my steward. I shall take that as a compliment, my lord. Oh, just so you know, once you actually rule an area, it will become even more useful for you, so please rule more lands, my lord. Now allow me to explain further. Place the units that you have created on the areas of the map. Use the Dispatch Evil Deputy command to place the units on the areas. This command can be accessed by pressing the triangle button to open the Campaign HQ menu. Tutorial Evil Deputy. You can dispatch one of your ally members as the Evil Deputy to the different lands. You can check the brightened areas on the map. These are your virtual areas. Whenever you place where, where you can place your units, there you go. The chance of a team attack will increase if you place two allies next to each other. It's basically the same as what I had previously in Sky 3 with the classrooms. You can only place one unit on each land. In order to create a new unit, you will need an open land, so keep that in mind. Now I'll go ahead and explain the Senate hearings. You have to. Kind of obvious. Tutorial Senate. In this netherworld, some wishes can come true through Senate hearings. Please select the command call the Senate. You will go ahead and submit a bill. Mana is also needed in order to do so. Yeah, I know this stuff. Once you've selected a topic, the Senate hearing will begin. To have your bill passed, you will need more eyes, 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 the nays, that's the one. What if more senators disagree? Do we simply give up? We can fight them. Not always. If you're confident enough, you can always win the vote through force. <laughs> look at you. This doesn't look like it's going to be easy. Is that it? Alright, can I back out? Return to base. But I know how that kind of stuff works, so. Ooh, Hades field trip built. Alright then, didn't give me a chance to read it. Right, that's us done for this part anyway, and in the next part we'll, we'll head off and go see if we can rescue the Brinnies to keep our promise. Ta-ta for now!